how can you dramatically improve cursor generated UI from something like this to something like that? So V0, which is application you probably have been using to generate really high quality UI for web application, now just released their own AI model that you can use directly inside your cursor. They also introduced a new AI coding workflow that can make the UI generation much better. Here is my workflow and setup. So to use a V0 in your cursor, you actually need some setup because cursor unfortunately don't support V0 model natively yet. And to set up, you will need to go to models in your cursor settings. For the OpenAI base URL, put in api.v0.dev slash v1. Save it. And then go to your v0 chat, go to settings, generate API key here, and paste over into cursor and click verify. You will probably be prompt to confirm to enable OpenAI API key here. So from now on, every time when you choose a GPT based model, behind the scenes, it's actually calling v0 model. There's also a bug you will have that even though you're calling cloud model, but if you have this OpenAI API key turned on, it will have this arrow. So making sure you turn it off when you try to use cloud model and turn it on when you want to use the V0 model. So as a quick way to showcase the capability, if I just use a 3.7 model and give it prompt make a beautiful calendar app, the result you will get probably looks something like this. Fully functional calendar app, but the UI of spacing, font, color just does not look 100%. So instead, we can switch model to GPT-40 and making sure we turn on this OpenAI API key here and give the same prompt make beautiful calendar event app. But with one caveat, I will just ask you to build one page to start with, because even though V0 model is extremely good at UI generation, it is not as good in terms of scaffolding the whole application and complex functionalities. When I ask you to build the whole application, it often just fail and stuck in the loop. So I will just ask to build one page to start with and then switch to a different model. So this is the result you get one shot from the V0 model in cursor. You can see the UI outcome just looks a ton better. All the spacing, font, color looks right with better taste. What's really cool about it is that you actually don't need to use V0 model through the whole development process. You can just use that to set a foundation of how the application should look like. And then we can switch to a better model like Cloud 3.7 or Cloud 4 if you want to keep adding new feature on top of this page. And you might have this arrow just making sure to turn off the OpenAI API key here and try again. What you will find is that even though you switch to a different model, because V0 already set an example of what type of style, spacing, color it should follow, the new UI generator will follow the same style and build out all those other screens that also looks really good. So this is my current workflow. I will try to use V0 to initially set up some main screens and then use Cloud 3.7 or Cloud 4 to build out more functionality. But if I need to set up some new screen again, I will switch back to V0 to build out that new screen. This is probably one of the key benefits I see of V0 releasing their own model instead of just using their chat app. Because now you can just switch back and forth between different models for specific tasks. So this is a quick example of how to use the V0 new model. If you want to learn more in depth about AI coding, you can join AI Builder Club, where I have more advanced tips about AI coding and building production-ready large learning model application for myself as well as industry experts. And we also have tools that can bootstrap your building experience from SAS and MCP template, as well as tools like 10X Coder that can turn your vague idea into well-crafted person PRD and rules. But most importantly, we have the community of top AI builders who are building and launching their own AI products. So you can come build with them and get advice. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the description below to join. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.